Hello everybody and welcome back to Sats Gaming and World of Warships. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Tier 8 American Battleship, the North Carolina. We're going to take a look at some of the stats and see how she stacks up against the competitors, see what makes her tick, see what her advantages are and disadvantages are, and then we're going to go into a battle replay and see how she handles on the high sea. So let's move over to the port, shall we? Ah, the North Carolina people. You've just grinded your way through seven battleships, six battleships, five, five battleships. Yeah, five battleships, not six, not seven. Five battleships at 21 knots. And now, yes, we have some speed. The North Carolina, the beautiful North Carolina. She is a beauty. Anyway, let's crack on. She has 66,000 hit points, which is one of the best at the tier. Very, very, very good hit points. Um, armor. Let's have a look at the armor layout. She has 32 millimeter bow armor, which is fantastic. And she has a citadel under uh, water citadel, but you do not want to be shown broadside in the ship because you will eat citadels. You want to be sitting right about like that, which means you only have six guns, really. The, the, the three at the back, you will get to use every now and then, but you want to be sitting angled in this ship because it is tanky as hell. Yes, you want to be sitting like this. Pew, 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 ricochet, 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 lovely. Um, you will lose some guns so every now and then. If, any, if someone knows what they're doing, they're aiming for your guns. Anyway, let's get rid of the armor layout. Um, she has a torpedo protection of 21%, which sucks. Um, it's one of the worst at tier eight. Um, you don't want to be eating torpedoes in this, so you have to be aware of your map and keep an eye on where the DDs are, enemy DDs. Anyway, moving on to the guns, these beautiful things, look at them. You have uh, nine guns in three turrets. You've got six at the front, two turrets at the front with six guns and one at the back. But like I said, you probably won't get to use the back one that often. And they are 406 millimeters. They have a reload time of 30 seconds, which is standard. Uh, I have a turret rotation speed of 38.3 seconds, but that is with expert marksmen, by the way. Maximum dispersion, 271 meters at the maximum range. HE shells do 5,700 damage, which is pretty nice, with a 36% chance of fire. So, yeah, if you've got that pesky battleship sitting bowing, you could probably unload some HE. Now, the armor piercing is where this ship shines. 13,100 damage. Uh, yeah, that's one of the highest. I think it's the Amagi. Uh, it's probably better, but yes, this does some damage. I have a maximum firing range of 21.1 kilometers. I do not have the upgraded, um, where is it? The upgraded module. Let's have a quick look. There you go. I don't have it because I don't need the range. I don't think you need the range um, because Initial armor piercing shell velocity, 701 meters per second, the worst at its tier. These shells spend an age flying to the target. Yes, so what does that mean? You have to lead more at longer ranges because um, these shells will float in the air like a butterfly, but you do get plunging fire. So German battleships beware. Um, these do hit hard when they uh, finally hit. Um, you can fire from behind islands as well. Um, Obviously not as good as the Atlanta or something like that, but better than most battleships. Um, yeah, right. Uh, secondary armament. Yeah. Yeah. This is not a secondary battleship. Um, I wouldn't bother with it. Um, I would leave it standard. You do not want to be using secondaries on this because you don't have enough, really. Yeah, not very good. IA defense is where they shine. You have 44 of the single Urdicans with a maximum range of 2.4 with 158 damage per second. Then you have you have 15 of the quad bow fours with 238 damage per second at 4.2 kilometers. And then you have the dual purpose secondary stroke mark 32 uh, guns, 127 millimeters. You have 10 of these in to uh, double turrets, which do a maximum damage of 151 damage per second at six kilometers. Um, so yes, for a total of 547 damage per second, if you get any aircraft coming to attack you, they're gonna feel the pain. Yes, basically, 
American Battleships flavour is AA, isn't it, people? So you know that. Uh, Maneuverability, maximum speed, 27.5 knots. Yes, no more 21 knots US standard speed, no more. With a turning circle of 760 metres, rudder shift time, 17.3. You have a detectability by sea of 13.1, which is fantastic but i have concealment on the captain but i don't have the module because i didn't have the credits at the time to purchase it and we have detectability range by air at 10.8 so this ship i like to play as a stealth battleship yes sit there waiting someone pops up outside your detection range and you open up on their broadside and you hurt them badly um moving on to captain skills now I would say you'd be around 12 to 14 points, but I've got a 10-point captain in the uh, North Carolina. Uh, priority target, I would say, is a must. You want to know who's targeting you and when they're targeting you. Um, I've gone for an expert marksman because I love the get my turrets rotating quicker just in case a DD pops up on my side. I can get them around and maybe put some hurt into them. Uh, superintendent, definitely for an extra hill, an extra spotting plane or catapult fighter. And then concealment. Then after that, I'd probably go adrenaline rush. Because, well, adrenaline rush, oh, pay. Um, then, vigilance. Probably vigilance would be my last three points. I'd, I'll try to get down to fire prevention because you're going to be sitting there bow on. Well, not bow on, angled quite a lot. And you're going to be taking HE spam. So, minus 10% risk of fire and obviously getting rid of one source of fire on the ship. I found really helps in this ship. Um, so, that is that. Moving on to the modules. In the first slot, I've gone for main armament modification one because minus 20% to risk of main batteries becoming incapacitated because you'll be sitting bow on. People who know what they're doing in the beginning aim for your guns, so that helps. And obviously all the other stuff helps as well. Auxiliary armaments modification one is viable because you keep the AA mounts up, the better you are at shooting ship planes down, but you're not going to see many planes. There's not many carriers about anymore, is there? Magazine modification one? No. You're very rarely going to get uh, your magazine detonated and spot rare craft is just, yeah, you don't want that one. Uh, damage control mon um, assistance modification two in the second slot purely because you don't. You're not going to lose your propulsion and you're not going to lose your steering gears. So the minus 3% to risk of flooding and damage received when torpedoes hits helps <laughs> quite a bit and obviously the mi minus five percent to the risk of fire uh, the third slot i've gone for aa guns modification too because it's the flavor of american battleships um you could go for artillery plotting room like i said you don't you don't need the range the further the range the worse dispersion harder it's going to hit with these guns anyway so you don't really need it uh, plus five percent of secondary battery maximum firing range and the dispersion you're not a secondary um battleship so no i won't bother with that um, minus 20%, no, definitely secondary battery in modification 2, no. Now, you could go for main battery modification 2, but plus 5% to main battery loading, uh, loading time to get plus 15% to traverse speed. You don't want to be going over 30 seconds in a battleship, people. It is painful, so I would highly recommend AA guns modification 2. Full slot, damage control system modification 2 for the minus 15% to time to extinguish fires and recover from flooding. Because like I said, you will get you will be getting hit, in, uh, hit by a lot of HE. Um, but these two, propulsion modification 2, very good if you're sitting still. For the minus 6 to plus 6, the minus 50% time to reach full power when accelerating. Um, definitely recommend that as well and steering gears modification too because the minus 20% of rudder shift time you know if you're moving along and you see torpedoes that is going to help out uh, but I went with damage control because I prefer a tankier build and obviously the last slot concealment systems modification one because yeah the Another minus 10% to detectability uh, range and plus 5% to maximum dispersion of shells fired at you. Um, I wish I had it in the battle video, but I don't. Um, but as you're going to see, it doesn't really matter. I don't miss much. Anyway, people, that is the North Carolina. So let's move on to the battle video, shall we? Right, everybody, welcome to Northern Lights, and it is a standard battle. As you can see, it's a tier 8 game. Yes, one of them rare, 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 rare games you're going to get in a tier 8. Um, yeah, you're going to see a lot of tier 9s and tier 10s, unfortunately, but I thought I'd show this one because I do pretty well. I mean, it's super, super maximum and highest damage, but um, yeah, it's not bad. Anyway, we spawned on the west side of the map, so my initial thoughts were to head down to the island to stop the inevitable push around that island, which is blatantly going to come from the enemy. 
So we're going to head over there, but I'm not going to head over there full throttle and burn it as quick as I can. I'm going to take it easy, use my detection to its maximum basically just sit and wait and see what occurs um, we have carriers yes we have two carriers in this game one on each side but the um they don't come bother me because i think they know north carolina don't go and touch a north carolina um you will lose your planes so um i can't show you the aa of the north carolina unfortunately because like i said they don't bother coming to attack me anyway just check in see the destroyers because it's always good to know how many destroyers are in each battle so you know how many torpedoes are going to be heading your way also if you have a look down in the bottom right there's this big thing called the minimap i make the minimap as big as i possibly can because the information it provides is brilliant um i've seen so many people we have tiny little mini maps. Not good. You want that mini map as big as possible. Anyway, uh, we're heading down. We've got a Charles Martel, a Nuremberg, and I think it's a Normandy. Yes, the new French battleship. Heading down this way. Um, it's been it's been a while since I played World of Warships, tell you the truth. And this is the first battle I had in the North Carolina. So I thought, hello, that's a battle video ready and waiting to happen. So that's why I decided to use it. Um, you'll get to see the power of the AP. Um, you'll get to see a bit of the tankiness, um, to be fair I told you to play this bow on and I do show a little bit of broadside but I don't get punished for it because I get lucky. Anyway as you notice I'm detected and I'm targeted. What can that mean? I can't see anything so, hmm, destroyer round. So you have to be aware so I slow down, try to uh, come to a stop and look there's a luckless there sitting over the other side of the island but ah we're in the North Carolina and this AP likes to float over islands so we got shots out and ooh, wallop 8,533 damage in the first server, salvo so ooh, bit that's hurting sir um, yes yeah, so we just come to a stop because I was expecting torpedoes to be heading my way as you can see we've got a Bismarck and a Gato and a Kutasov over the other side of the island and all so they were planning on pushing around this way um, I'm a little bit worried now this Bismarck is coming this way. I'm a little bit worried about that. I want to stay out of the secondary range because them secondaries can be a pain in the ass and they can set lots and lots of fires. So I take the chance right now to rotate and there's the fusion. So I know he's launched torpedoes. Don't tell me how I know. Well, I'm physic. Um, no, I know he's launched torpedoes. So I'm trying to turn around and get the hell out of Dodge because there they come. Deep water torpedoes. So I'm a showing broadside, but there's a Nagato showing broadside too. So I know I'm up the shot, I open fire, and then I try to focus on not getting hit by these torpedoes. And ooh, that's uh, 30,000 damage to the Nagato. Um, and a citadel and I get lucky here as you can see I'm showing a little bit broadside and I run into the Normandy uh, yeah sorry sir uh, but yes 30,000 damage to the Nagato I'm trying to dodge out of the way of these torpedoes but they run out of steam anyway so I need to angle now I'm thinking about shooting a Nagato and I see hello Akutasov and open fire if you disappeared sir bet you're sitting there thinking oh, I'm safe in my smoke but <laughs> Citadel on the Kutasov for about 14,000 damage. Fantastic. So I'm angling up now because obviously I've got Bismarck over there and a Nagato. And the Nagato's guns can be quite painful. I'm not too worried about Bismarck's guns. I'm more worried about his secondaries. But he's clearly not bothering setting his secondaries on me because of our Charles Martel there sitting there giving him grief. So I'm going to see if I can get some nice shots on this Nagato. Uh, probably under lead a little bit, but... <laughs> Um, I hit his city there anyway, and that's first blood, and that's 63,000 damage. Super, so that's one kill. So now we've got to deal with this pesky Bismarck. Um, I don't know if he's running a secondary build or not. I can't see secondaries firing, actually. Uh, but we're going to have to help out this Charles Martel, who's trying to reverse up here on the island because, um, yeah, Bismarck coming right at you. Um, so we're going to see if we can help. So we get some shots out. Um, I'm aiming for his superstructure. I'm not aiming for the hole or anything. Oh, that's the key to taking down um, German battleship. You need to aim for the superstructure because you're not going to get uh, citadels at close range because of their turtle back armor. So aim for the superstructure, people. Um, he's cooking at the moment and he looks like he's a bit peed off because he's heading towards the old Charles Martel at full speed. So we need to help him out, see if we can keep him alive. And 
and aiming for the superstructure again. These are looking pretty good. And that's another 4,782 damage and he's burning. So I think the Bismarck may have seen his last. And shots out. I'm waiting to see if I can get more shots. Andy has gone. And the Charles Motto managed to survive. Well done, sir. So, I think we've managed to stop this push around this island. We're up to 73,000 damage. Not too bad. <laughs> Not bad, too bad. I mean, what are we, five minutes in and I'm already up to 73,000 damage. Right, we've got this Admiral Hipstar. Looks like he's going to be pushing around. So, I'll let everybody know on the minimap in a second that we maybe should focus this... Um, cruiser German cruiser tier 8 cruiser who's going to be popping around the island anytime soon so we're going to rotate around now because we're unspotted it's safe to maneuver this is why I like the detection range on the North Carolina you can maneuver once you're unprotected maneuver get in position and then open up with your guns again not showing the broadside anyway I have a look trying to do the old um, map trick but I think they've changed it because it was very hard to see where he was heading anyway is he going to be brave enough to pop his nose around the edge of this island? It looks like he is. Um, I, I really wish I had these shots back. Because um, I'm lining it up and I'm thinking, hmm, is he slammed down? Looks like he's slammed down. So I see him. I open fire and no, he hasn't slowed down. And what a waste. <laughs> yeah, it's good shooting there, Sarex. But um, just a little note. This hippo is um, not long for this world, and he will soon be going down to Davy Jones's locker to say hi. So, I think we've cleared this side of the map. So, now, looking at the minimap, I'm just checking to see what, what else is alive. Looking at the minimap, we have no support on the east, and they will be pushing our cap soon. So, I'm going to use the phenomenal speed of 27.5 kilometers to get over towards our cap and defend it. Um, yeah, one over pen. Oh dear. Oh well. Admiral Whipster looks like he's going to go down. Don't think my guns are going to reload in time. And no, he's dead. So, this side's clear. So now I'm letting the team know we need to cover the cap because everybody's over here apart from the carrier. So we need to get over there as quick as we can and do a bit of defending. We're up to 74,617 damage. One kill, three citadels. And not bad, not a bad start. I mean, we've got the points lead, we've got the ship's lead. It is standard battle, so we don't have to worry about um, caps. Just our own cap, our home cap. So we don't have to worry about that. And I haven't really taken a lot of damage, as you see. But then again, no one was really firing on me. I got lucky when I turned in front of all them battleships and hit the normal D. But... Yeah, no one's really focusing me, which is a bit funny. And the Queen Elizabeth pops up, who's heading towards our cap, so that is going to be our focus. We're going to head over there and see if we can stop him pushing in, because... Reasons, basically. Um, as you can see, two of our battleships are pushing around that island. They're going to be heading towards their cap in a minute. Which will... Yeah, it will confuse the enemy, and they won't know where to aim. But we have a Mayoko hot hit hiding behind the island now this would be a perfect opportunity to have a go with a plunging shots over the islands but uh, i don't think i'm going to be able to hit him as you notice i've got i've got spotter plane don't ask me why i've got spotter plane but i've got spotter plane um i don't use it in this battle and i very rarely use it um yeah hmm not sure why i had that but anyway queen elizabeth let's line some shots up on her so yeah if she keeps going that way i think these shots will be good shots out but Ah, a torpedo drop. One single torpedo makes the Queen Elizabeth turn, and these shots are wasted. I wish I could have them back. Um, yeah, terrific. Right, so we have the Mayoko over the other side of the island now. Um, I'm detected, and I am targeted. So, I'm thinking maybe some torpedoes will be on their way, but we'll see. As you're going to see in a minute, we can get shots over this island, whereas other battleships probably would have struggled here. So, I'm lining it up. Shots out. Mmm. Tasty broadside. Are we going to get the shots to land? And boom. 5,421 damage. And a kill number two. Now we need to focus the Queen Elizabeth because she's getting rather close. And you know what Queen Elizabeths do? They fire HE. Because they love to burn things. So I'm just slowing down. I'm not going to push into her. I'm just going to slow down. Keep a bit of range. Uh, I'm going to try and target some planes. Uh, <laughs> try and show you this AA. But... Alas, they don't bother coming to bug me, and the tier 6 anyway, so we would eat them alive. Anyway, we get some shots out, and there's the inevitable torpedoes from the Mayoko, and I looked around, and then I see a pesky Pensacola. Hello, sir, a pesky Pensacola. 
Now, we all know what these are. These are XP pinadas. Even just by looking at it, we get damage. So we get first shots out. Hmm. Don't know if I'm going to get any damage. And he's just been chunked rather hard uh, by somebody. And they even shots missed. So line up. Second salvo out. Not even going to look because if they hit, he's dead. Because it's a Pensacola. And... Boom, kill number three. Kind of a kill still, but I'm going to take it anyway. And what's this? We have a New Mexico pushing around as well. So now I have two ships and I need to try and stay angled to both of them. Because if I show broadside, they may be a tier six. And Queen Elizabeth tier seven, I think. They may be a tier, tiers lower than me, but they do have some big guns. But the Queen Elizabeth, HE. Um, not too worried about that, really. It's more, more worried about showing broadside to the New Mexico because them guns will hurt me. So I'm staying angled to both, as you can see. I'm not too worried. I'm just going to sit here, wait, see who shows the best profile. I really want to take the Queen Elizabeth out first before the New Mexico, because I'm not too worried about the New Mexico, to be fair. So broadside Queen Elizabeth, what can we do? Just waiting for the guns to reload. I am being targeted by the New Mexico, but as you can see, because I'm angled, I'm, I'm not taking a lot of damage. Shots out. Uh, ooh, not bad, the uh, grouping now. And we're going to get... Ooh, ooh. Um, 18,000 damage with no citadel. So, yes, when this AP hits and penetrates, it hits hard. And that Queen Elizabeth is probably wishing he wasn't showing broadside to me. Anyway, the Queen Elizabeth goes down, and now we've got the pesky New Mexico pushing in. So, we, yeah, he's showing broadside too, which I wouldn't recommend showing broadside to any battleship, especially in North Carolina with this armor piercing. But the yeah, dispersion looks like it's let me down. It's not looking particularly good. Yeah, four thousand, yeah, about five and a half thousand damage. I'll take it. I mean, dispersion did let me down there, and he opens up, and as you can see, bounce, nicely angled. Now we do have a Bismarck pushing around the south of the island next to us, and I'm going to help out and take out the Bismarck in a minute because this um, New Mexico decides to try and hide behind the island. Um, oh, I wish I had held on to them shots a little bit longer. Uh, yeah, still got 3,500 damage with one shell. Hmm. Okay, but yes, he's going to hide. He's going to go running hot behind this island in a minute. So the only thing I'm going to be able to shoot at is this Bismarck and I'm going to help see if I can chunk him down for the rest of my team. Um, yeah, so they only have three ships left. Two battleships, which we can see, and an aircraft carrier. Where he is, we do not know. Um, it looks like the New Mexico is slammed down. I'm going to see if I can get some shots over the island. Are we going to do any damage? Um, no. Okay, fair enough. Right, so we're up to 117,000 damage, and we got this Bismarck, see? And the Bismarck's not targeting me. He's got the Fuso, York, and Norman D to worry about, so I'm not too worried about sitting broadside here. So I'm just going to get all the guns around. As you can see, Expert Marksman really helps with the rotation of these guns. It is fantastic. That's a really good thing about American battleships. It's the same with the Iowa and the Montana. Quick turret rotation really helps. So I'll get some shots out on the Bismarck, aiming for the superstructure. And ooh, 9,500 damage. Fantastic. So we're up to 126,000 damage now. I'm going to keep pushing New Mexico uh, because he needs to go down as well because he is a risk and I'm the only one over this side of the map apart from, oh no, I'm not. There's a battleship up north. Okay, I think that's Leon. So I'm going to keep pushing him and we're going to see if we can get some shot, more shots on the Bismarck before I disappear behind this island. Shots are out. And... I turn to look at the New Mexico, and he's really close, and oh, the Bismarck is dead. <laughs> um, someone must have taken a lot of H point, uh, HP off him before I hit him. So let's say fourth kill, 131,000 damage, and this New Mexico to deal with. So we're just going to keep pushing in because I'm not too worried about it. We've got 51,000 hit points. He's down to 16,000. He's burning. Um, yeah. I do feel sorry for this New Mexico. At least he tried to play the game correctly, but hey. A kill's a kill, hey? Right, this Wayne, is he going to show broadside? And... Yeah. Okay, Confederate, only 2,000 damage. Um, I don't know where them shields went, it seems like. I'm four kilometers away, and this dispersion really wants to troll me, because that happened. Yes, I straddled him at four kilometers. Yes. Thank you, Armin Jesus. Anyway, 
We're up to 134,000 damage. We've got Confederates. Are we going to get a Kraken before someone else takes the kill? Come on! Shots out! And yes, that is Kraken for five kills. Fantastic. Uh, I'm burning, but it's, I don't have to worry about the fire because there's only an aircraft carrier left and we are capping the base. And that is it, people. Um, we don't find the aircraft carrier before we cap out. So I will move on to the final battle result screen. And there you have it people, we managed to do 136,881 damage with 3 citadels, 5 sinks, uh, we managed to get self confederate, kraken, unleashed and first blood. We managed to top the leaderboard with 1,836 base experience and I've got to say well done Nuremberg, managed to get 3 sinks uh, with 1,389. We managed to do a total of 136,584 damage with our main battery, 55 shells hit uh, out of 162 and <laughs> we did 297 damage with our secondary batteries, what did I say, it's not a secondary battery ship so don't spec into it people, uh, we managed to tank a potential damage of 811,002 and after paying the crew we managed to make 217,000 credits so I hope you enjoyed this video people and I hope you have learned something um, if you have, please smash thumbs up. If you haven't, let me know in the comments below so I can improve. Uh, maybe check out my channels, see other Let's Plays that I do, and maybe consider subscribing. And on that note, people, I will catch you in the next one.